WTBRFM, Pittsfield. Welcome to Ham on WTBR, the all-inclusive ham radio show for hams and non-hams alike. Be part of the show. Contact us on www.facebook.com slash hamjamtv. And now the hosts of the show, Peter and Jessica. Ham on. Hey, 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 you'll be okay. Good morning from Berkshire County, Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Good morning, everybody. I'll try it. Okay, is my mic on? Uh, now I think your mic is, is on. Is this thing on? It's Can you hear on. me now? Oh, okay. my <laughs> Lord. So, again, good morning from Berkshire County, Pittsfield, Massachusetts. This is Ham on and WTBR Good morning. FM. Good morning, everybody. I'm awake. <laughs> I'm awake. Uh, are, 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 this is why we check the equipment before we right. get on. Uh, are, are you with us now? I, I think I'm with you finally. So, <laughs> yep. we have a very, very I big show. I have arrived. Up. You have arrived. Yes. So, we're going to we're gonna get into the trivia question real quick because we have like some ma- a major, a major announcement. And I don't know how long it's going to take to do that. And so, we have a major dude here in the studio yes, we, as well. We, we, we'll get to our major dude here okay. in the studio okay. in just He's a right few here. minutes. He's right here. So, the trivia question is, WSJT is a computer program used for weak signal communication between amateur radio operators, and, has won, and he has won a Nobel <laughs> Prize in physics. Who is it? We will let you know at the end of the show. All right, so we get Everyone's on pins and needles, I know. Everyone's on pins mm. and needles. Yeah. So, major announcement here is for those to check in to K1FFK, Mountain Greylock. We are changing the times. For obvious reasons, because our times just do not coincide with what the first region that is doing. So, starting March 1st, we are going to 1 o'clock, cycle 1 at 1 o'clock, and cycle 2 at 4 o'clock. With FRN in the middle, the way it should be. Sounds sounds very thoughtful. Well, it did. Well, well, we, our nets were 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Yep. Mm. First region net was 2.30. I'm holding, any traffic I get out of first region net, I'm holding for 20 hours. And I'm one of the few people that actually read the NTS book and the okay. section manager book. Okay. And you're supposed to get them within 24 hours. Sitting it, holding it at my house for 20 hours isn't cutting it. So everybody that needs to be notified has been notified, and Marsha was the, was with it. She's like, "Yeah, go for it." Good. And, and Ray, who is here, Good. and Ray, our who is section here, manager is actually here live today. We're going to talk to him in a few minutes, and. Are, are we having technical difficulties? No, no. The? I mean, my my mic's floating around, um, which, which is which is really fine. You know, we're trying to adjust the arm and everything, but 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 honestly, I can I can handle it's it. I can. This one over here. I'm tough. It's this thing, it's right? It's this one. Yeah. No, Peter. Let's let's uh, let's not be distracted. It's fine. I'm already distracted. I can handle it. <laughs> I'm a I'm, big girl. I, I've lost. I, I've uh, lost control already. I'm already yeah. distracted. Yeah. And also, um, another announcement that uh, I'm giving No Bark a shot at doing field day <coughs> this year. <coughs> if No Bark doesn't do it, I'm gonna take the uh, take my club out of mothballs, and we're gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. So No Bark did not. No Bark didn't do field day. Right. And, and what what was their what was their uh, excuse? <laughs> <laughs> Ray, Ray's like real quiet. Um, I, I, guess, I hung out I, with I, the uh, the Rip Van Winkle I, I guess, folks. I, over I guess in, I uh, guess to be nice about it, Claverack. they didn't get the support fun. from the amateur radio community to do it. Well, I'll be honest, I didn't hear from them. Well, you weren't. Well, here's what happened. Dave, I'm just, Dave I'm just w, teasing. Dave, Dave W One Triple T offered to take over Field Day last year. Okay, and you know he. Put out on the repeaters and at the clubs that he was taking names to see who wanted to join in on the field day. Uh, nobody joined in. Okay. <laughs> other than okay. a couple, well, a couple of people did, but he didn't, you know, go through with it enough, and we kind of 
he kind of gave up on, on the field day. Right. Well, uh, I mean, that's legit. If nobody shows up, if nobody's offering to help, then I guess it doesn't happen. There's other ways. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got to have a network. Yeah. Uh, Dave is, you know, as good as he is, he's DEC for Berkshire County. What's uh, DEC? Could you uh, explain that? De- Just translate that into English? <laughs> de- 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 Department of Enforcement. No. Uh, <laughs> Um, Divis- Division did? Emergency Coordinator. Yeah, okay, okay. He's one. He's one of the big dudes ready to point them. Okay, um, a big dog. Big dog, and and even Will, even Will, 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 Will Bream. You know, he was gonna yeah. he was gonna join in on it. There's ways to do it. I, I'm, you know, I, I can't help it because I have a network over <laughs> the past four years of. of people that will come in and do stuff yes this is, this, is why, this is why i have guests every week so let's see okay before we get to all of the fun stuff here we have a what do we have we have fun stuff we have okay so we have this there'll be the ARRLIT department anticipates two short interruptions to these headquarters based systems on thursday february 13th, which is tomorrow, Logbook of the World will be impacted online, DXCC, International Grid Chase Archive, National Parks on the Air Archive, Centennial QSO Party Archive, and W1AW, Echo Link <laughs> Conference Server. The inter- Why don't you go on the other microphone? Um, sure. Try this. Try that one. Okay. Am I on? You will be in a second. Oh, does that one work better? Uh, I mean, it's yeah. I like the sound and, of this mic too. Okay, so okay, there you let, go. let's not be distracted the, here, Peter. Well, stop <laughs> doing stuff over there. It's not my fault. The, the interruption fault. should occur on Thursday, February thirteenth, between twelve hundred and twenty two hundred UTC. Each interruption should last for less than ten minutes. Go. Oh wow! <laughs> All right. No music today. No music today. My music is not you. I don't have your music keyed up. Hey, at least it's seven minutes. At least seven minutes then I get thrown on a bus. Yeah. All right, wait. I uh, have I have your music keyed up. Okay, first you say I don't have my music, then you say I do. That's because I can do it real quick. That's pretty. That's pretty good news it's for ba- music. It's bad enough I was a dingus this morning and I forgot my glasses. Hmm. Ugh, whatever. Uh, let's see. Once again, St. Patrick's Day is nearly upon us. No, really. We are asking all amateurs to join in on air and help turn the bands green for St. Patrick for the St. Patrick's Day award. The annual award award runs forty eight hours from noon, March sixteenth to noon on the 18th of March. Stations worldwide will be on air for celebration. Celebrations and hopefully, and we hope that you can sit back, relax, and help turn those bands green for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, let me see. If you wish to register or just find out more about it and simply go to w- uh, www.stpatrickdayaward.webs.com uh, Interesting. I didn't know they do that. What exactly is it? What exactly is what? <laughs> I'm <laughs> paying attention. Of course you were. Turning the bands green for me. It's just what I told yes. you what it was. I, I don't, to be honest, I've never done that before, so whatever it told you in the thing, was, do you know? Do, do you know? You, Ray doesn't know. Ray's no help to me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure they can figure it out. You go to the website. I love you. I know you have a short attention span sometimes, but pay attention. Yeah, yes, mother. Done now? Okay. So anyway. No, 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 no. no. Mother is home. A lot to talk about today. A lot to talk about today. So in studio, we have him on the phone back in December. <coughs> we actually have him in studio <coughs> today. Sorry. Is Ray LaJole. Hello. Hi, Ray. KB1LRL, section manager for Western Massachusetts. Ray, it's, uh, it's good to see you. 
Yep. Good to be thanks here. For, thanks for coming. Yep. Glad to have uh, made the journey everyone. out here. Yeah, yeah, it was quite yeah, a welcome, journey. Welcome to our humble little home. So That's our right. first question is: Back in December, welcome, welcome. back in December, you said you had a project that you were launching in January. We had a uh, pretty good one. We had to backtrack a little bit, but nonetheless, we are moving forward with it. And what I've been doing as section manager, as some people are already aware is I've been very visible to the clubs in the area, such as Hamden and Mount Tom. And sadly, I haven't been able to get to Nobark, but uh, I feel bad. But trying to get out there to have a visit to see what's going on. But yeah, I've been visiting all the clubs in my section as much as I can. And I look at things. I just kind of sit back and casually observe. But I've discovered a very common factor because a lot of people in clubs come up with the comment about new hams not joining a club, not getting involved, and not getting on the air. And I found a very big common denominator. There is a huge gap between when a person takes the VE test and they pass it and they fill out that nice little 605 form and get a handshake congratulations what happens after that this is a great question mm -hmm. i feel like i'm in that limbo right now so i'd, I'd love to hear what you have to say right. about this so as time has progressed the one thing that has uh, kind of gone by the wayside is a couple of things number one is technical support yep and I have discovered, quite surprisingly, that some of these people was not, not even aware that the section has a technical resource committee. I have a technical coordinator and technical specialists in my section that are there and very happy and willing to help new hams and old hams alike to resolve some of these issues that they may have a problem with. Right. The other thing that I find that clubs were not um, doing or has kind of gone by the wayside is a time-honored tradition called Elmering. Yes. Which I kind of modernized that word. I kind of set up uh, it as mentoring. Yeah, but that's really the right. Either, either one will work fine. Yeah. But back in the day when people used to get their novice license and stuff like that, somebody would take them under their wing and show them how to set up their stations, how to get on the air, how to do this, how to put up an antenna, how to build an antenna, and get them off the ground and get them on the air. <laughs> and that has disappeared. Yep. So what I'm doing is I'm actually out there promoting, mentoring, getting them out there, encouraging clubs, if to be at the VE sessions, and usually you have to have three to do the uh, test, mm -hmm. but have a couple of extras. Right. And have them go, and when they get the test passed, you know, somebody comes up to them and say, hey, congratulations, you got your license. Let me ask you something. What was your primary interest in going for the hobby? Some people will say emergency communications. Some people will say DXing. Uh, some people want to say, you know, I want to learn you know, how the technology is uh, plays together, computers and all that, yeah, whatever the um, reason is. And then what this new, this new person should be receiving, and this is what I am putting out, is a brochure. And this is like a 29-ish page, 30-page brochure. But the beauty of it is, is that clubs, people, Anybody can take and download it from our website, wma.arrl.org, and it's not on there yet. Oh. I, had to, I had to pull it back. Oh. So and don't go there now. Don't go there now. <laughs> uh, I had to pull it back for some uh, questionable legality issues. Oh, good. Always good to check on that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we had to br uh, clean it up a little bit. But the beauty is, is that you can download it, and you could put your own information specific to your demographics. So if Nobark has a um, VE session, 
somebody should go up there, you know, talk to the new ham and say, oh, by the way, let me give you this. This is a guide that will give you some basics on amateur radio, getting on the air. It will give you some basic information. And note the word basic. Uh, basic propagation information. And, you know, you get the Q, uh, Q codes and you get uh, the phonetic alphabets and you got the uh, UTC time zones. Uh, that type of stuff. So it's very basic information for the new ham to look at. But along with that, it'll give them contact people. So if somebody at the club or somebody says, hey, you know, I'll help you get on the air. Give them that information. There are other resources available. It also filters back up to us if necessary. But this brochure gives a person on a localized level information to get them off the ground. And ideally, whoever takes that responsibility of, you know, being that mentor, if he hasn't been heard from for a month or so, you know, that person should be reaching out to them and ask them, hey, how's it going? Um, anything I could do to help you out? Um, you know, anything like that. Just to make these new hams know that they've come into a hobby that, is active yeah and has interest in you and has interest in you getting experience within that hobby to enjoy it right and i'm finding that right after that ve test they get their 25 298 bofang radio and they look at the two frequencies that they probably had two hours to try to program in and then say hmm there's nothing on here why did i get into this hobby that's precisely what I'm trying to stem the tide. The and also makes New Ham New Ham's feel welcome in exactly. the community. Yeah, cause I, and, right. not, and not feel like, oh, I got into this hobby now and now I'm like off in a corner somewhere after I get congratulated. Right. Well yeah, I'm the one that usually sets up the, the no bark uh VE sessions where will call me and go, Can you get the venue? Because we use the Berkshire Bank community room so I can get in there. And when somebody passes their test, we hand them the little thing for the ARRL. That's it. They they walk out and having no clue. Uh, there was you know there was well that was my that was my story. Well, well that's still my that's still my story. When, when and, I and got when I got my license and yep. I got and I tested up to Saratoga County. Yep. Um, for their group, they gave me a year pre membership to the club, and. That kind of helps because then you have somewhere to go. But No Bark used to do that. They don't do that anymore. And the, the hams go in and, and say, okay, wh what do we do next? And you went through the same thing because you tested and then had no clue what to do after that. That's right. I, that's, had, that's, I had I mean, that's, some it's sort not, of a clue. Right. It's not like I have no clue, but there there were so many resources. Well, where do you know? Yeah, where it's do you like, go where, next? Yeah, where do, where do I start? And I was in the exact position um, that Ray's describing. You know, I got my handheld tuned in some frequencies and, 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 and nothing. I was well, like, right. am my, I doing something wrong? My belief, you know? and, and my belief has always been that we should have paperwork. We should have Aries paperwork. We should have... Or an Aries application, a club application, and some club willing to donate a year's membership. And now once Ray gets this brochure, that'll be another thing. But nobody really does that. And I've talked to Will about that, and I've talked to the club about that. And <laughs> I get nowhere. So I, I think I have some Aries applications that, that um, Dave left me that I keep printing up that I give out at the, at the VE sessions. At least get people into Aries, which will was we're going to segue into that into a few minutes. But right, other than Aries and, and your little brochure from the ARRL that they give you if you pass your test once you get your CSE, there's nothing and nowhere you know nowhere to go. And I tell them, you know, hook up with me. I drop my email, say hook up with me. We'll hook something up. Yeah. When we turn K1 FFK times over on March first, we're going to not only be the Western Mass Traffic Net, we're going to be a traffic handling training net. Ooh. So we're actually going to start training people how to handle traffic. Okay. Once we get that going in March, I've spent a year working all this stuff out. So, so this is a new this is a new initiative. 
Well, for K1FFK, it's new. Yeah. Capital District Traffic Net's been doing this for years, so I'm kind of stealing stuff from them. Right, that's okay. Is it weird that I'm not even a ham and I kind of know how to go ahead and send traffic? That's because you listen to me every day. We're taking 10 or 15 pieces of traffic off First Region Net, and you're dumping them on K1FFK or over on, uh, on um, Heavy Hitters Traffic Net. Yeah, that's also how I learned how I learned the phonetic alphabet. I'm not even a ham, and I know the phonetic alphabet. And <laughs> what's stopping you from being a ham? She, she <laughs> has. How can I put this? She has no filter. I have a colorful language. Yeah, she has no filter. I mean, she could pass the test in 30 seconds, but once she gets on the air, there's going to be a lot of FCC notices showing up at my house. Yeah, so this is not CB. So that's the only thing that prevents it. She that's kinda, what prevents me. I get when somebody either makes me angry or I get very, very excited. I have to tell myself, don't use certain languages. Yeah, Isn't that so a that's, dad that's discipline why. thing. I know. I know. No, exactly. So now I get thrown under the bus by the section manager. <laughs> See how my how yeah. my morning's yeah, going we, here? It's not a bad discipline. Yeah. It's not a bad Ray, discipline thing. Ray, and, a, Ray um, and I think this is all Peter's fault. Of course, Clearly. It is. everything is my fault. Clearly. Yeah. So uh, okay, it's a no, par- it's parenting I've fail. Lost control. Wh- it's when not a you, bad discipline thing. It's a I have no. Um, you have no filter. Yeah, I have no filter. You grew up in New York. Do the math. Uh, so w- when do you think that the brochure will be available? I want to say within a couple of months. It um, other people are involved. Uh, I mean, I've uh, been doing some of the editing, and uh, Bob K1YO has been uh, doing the actual um, typing and putting it all together. And we've got another guy, um, Aaron Addison from uh, Franklin County, that um, he's uh, putting his few cents worth in because he actually works at a library, so publications could um, be of help there. But, yeah, there were some issues that were brought up, and I wanted to double-check and cover the bases, and sure enough, somebody threw a grenade on it and said, nope, we don't want this out. So we had to backtrack, and we had to kind of do a rewrite and a cleanup so okay it'll come through it'll be all nice and legit and people will be able to take this thing and download it and they could do whatever they want now the beauty of this thing too is that you know while i'm sitting there cooking up this idea on a cauldron they um <laughs> the league has actually brought out a brand new magazine i don't know if anybody noticed knows about it um over oh, you have it on the air Ooh. there it is yes nice this is a new magazine that just came out. This is this is the first edition, but what it is is that this is geared towards a brand new ham. See, that would that would be my cup of tea. Yep, right there. Yep, you choosing a yes, handheld radio. You, there you go. But the downside is, if there's a downside, you have to be a member of the league. This is true. That's it's not a downside, is it? Well, no. <laughs> there are some people that think that joining the league is, you know, just one money-making scam. But if you really look at it, there's a lot of things that go into it. Oh, now, there's the one so much that goes into it. The one thing that the league is actually doing with the launch of this magazine is that it's giving people, this is, comes out every two months, and what it's doing is that it's geared towards New Hams, but any member who gets QST, they actually have an option. If they want to get the On the Air magazine, they can in print form. And they also get the QST in digital form for no additional charge or vice versa. Right. It's like one or the other in print. Right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the other beauty of it, too, is that there's uh, two other magazines that the league puts out. It's uh, QEX, the uh, quote, experimental uh, j- journal, and also, oh, nice. also the National Contest Journal. Both of those were um, every two months and a subscription. They're also rolling that in to a free digital download as well. Wow, that's super cool. What, what did you say about the experimental <coughs> publication? Okay, which, hold, which hold one? Your, okay, Susie, hold your question. Why? We're going to go break. We're oh, late. What? We're All late right. for our break. Okay. We will we have, we will have Susie ask her question when we okay. come back out of break. Okay. We've got Ray Lujoli here, KB1LRL. This is Ham On on WTBRFM. It certainly, certainly is. Try that again. I forgot to turn you on. Nice going. 
You're listening to Ham on at WTBR. WTBR. You and I have witnessed many things, but nothing as bodacious as what just happened. I mean, that's exactly you think you know what exactly. radio is, but there is a radio you may not have yet discovered. Amateur radio, or as it is often called, ham radio. You can talk to the world. Hey, Yoshi, you're my first contact with Japan. Help when disasters strike. The hurricane emergency net is now open for priority traffic. Or make friends worlds away. G'day, mate. Beautiful day here out in Australia. I tell you what, the waves of... Say hello to the world via amateur radio. The ARRL, the National Organization for Amateur Radio, can teach you how. Visit HelloRadio.org and say hello to ham radio. Uh-oh, Brad's buzzed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's starting with the woots. <laughs> <laughs> and now a speech. I just want to say that friendship is about heart. Heart and brain. Who's with me? Good thing is, he knows when he's buzzed. And my brain is saying, when it's time to go home, somebody call me a ride. Love that guy. Me too. Know your buzzed warning signs? Call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. WTBR radar weather for the Pittsfield area. Winter weather advisory in effect from 10 p.m. this evening to 7 p.m. EST Thursday. Today, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid-30s. West wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, a chance of snow in the evening. Then snow after midnight. Snow accumulation of 2 to 4 inches. Cold. Near steady temperature around 30. South wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of snow near 100%. Weather forecasts for WTBR FM are provided by the National Weather Service. You must be your fairy godmother. <laughs> yes. It doesn't take a fairy godmother to tell you that the right fit means everything. Good heavens, child. You can't go in that. Children under 4 foot 9 need to be in a booster seat because they aren't ready for adult safety belts alone. Remember that 4 foot 9 is the magic number. And get your little pumpkin there safely in a booster seat. Oh, thank you. For more information, visit BoosterSeat.gov. This has been a message from the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. WTBR. We are currently experiencing technical difficulty. Please stand by while we look for the instruction manual. America's quiet warriors are the legion of ham radio operators, 700,000 of them, who are always at ready for backup duty in emergencies. Amateur, unpaid, uncelebrated civilian radio operators during and after floods and fires and tornadoes, after the 911 attacks, hams were indispensable in reuniting families. Most recently, it was they who expedited the search for debris after the disaster to the Space Shuttle Columbia. And right now, at this moment, they are involved in homeland security to a greater degree than you would want me to make public. Paul Harvey talking about us amateur radio operators. And we are back on the, on Ham on the WTBR FM with Ray LaJole. Welcome back, everybody. KB1LRL, section, tra oh, se yeah, section traffic manager. Section manager for Western Massachusetts. Marsh must be thinking about it. Susie, over yes. in the corner, you had a question before the break. I don't remember what it was, to be honest. But uh, um, I, really like, I really like his idea of putting out a manual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For new hams, it's pretty great. So I, I think the next thing we need to discuss is Aries. Yep. Amateur radio emergency service. Amateur and radio emergency I, I, service. I know. Okay. I know it's a rebuilding phase mm -hmm. here in WMA. Do you want to bring us up to what's the latest and rebuilding what's going on? Rebuilding is quite the understatement because basically, when I took over as uh, section manager, there was nothing. And whatever there was, as far as Aries, was a uh, a mess. We'll say. Ah. Everybody was kind of had their own ideas. They were doing their own thing. Yep. And of course, with nine one one and the Department of Homeland Security, it's a greater requirement and a need for training and organization. So one of the, I'll say, most daunting tasks was trying to find somebody who was willing to take on section emergency <laughs> coordinator. 
So fortunately, uh, March of last year, um, Bob, uh, 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 forgive me if I mess up his name, Manguzo, um, K1YO, he um, kindly offered his services as section emergency coordinator and, or, and basically he took on the beast. And the first thing he did was start formulating a emergency plan that everybody can embrace and use. And ongoing has, his, has been his quest for trying to get people involved in Aries, especially on the coordinator side of things. Um, we do have some voids that we still need to fill, but along with him trying to find those, he's also been uh, out there promoting the, um, the structure, the plan, and also trying to um, gather some um, individuals to assist us with this vision, we'll say. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and even though Western Mass really doesn't have a whole lot going on, but you got to figure that even though a whole lot doesn't go on, picture May of 2011 or June, whatever it was, that nice little tornado we had in Springfield. Yep. Right out of the blue. We had no idea. And it was a ham radio that saw a funnel coming through the Connecticut River. Wow. So... Um, you know, things started coming through, and next thing you know, mayhem started in a couple of areas, and we had to uh, respond. And that's one of the things that we need to do is we need to train to be ready. We need to respond and act accordingly in the same structure as the incident command system so that we can show other people we are capable of taking on what they need as far as communications. And, and the, the big thing I get is when I, when I talk to people, well, you know, we got, with all the, the, the three-tier structure, and I was talking with Dave about this the other night, and going to, you know, did this, wherever they hold the, uh, this one, well, I, think, I think it's ICS 400 or something, where you go for a whole weekend to learn this, and then you have to pay for the hotel thing. But that's the top level. You can get in to Aries with three simple ICS courses that are free online. They're open book, and that gets you in. I mean, if you want to work up in the EOC, the, the incident command centers, then, yeah, you, you may have to take them. But it's not like everybody that gets into Aries says, you know, you got to go see, you got to go do this course, and you got to do go pay for the hotel and, and, and pay for your meals and then do this course all weekend. That's only for top level, for tier three. Right. You don't need to, you, you know, you can join Aries without having any of those courses. You know, you could just start off uh, joining Aries. If an incident does come up, yeah, we're going to have people deployed in the field based on what their training and qualifications are. But there's nothing to say that you can't stay at home at your base station or be immobile somewhere and, you know, either report or relay information, you know, anything like that. And then as you're training and as your uh, the ICS courses advance, we'll get you into a higher position where you could be utilized in a more important um, um, structure. And, and even something as simple as being an NCS for the Western Mass Traffic Net, because that's our training for if there is an incident that comes up and Aries has to take over the repeaters to run a net, we'll have people that know how to do that. Right. So that's the beauty about, you know, a lot of people see us out in public service events, case in point, the Boston Marathon coming up. And, yeah, we could go out there, we could have a lot of fun, but, of course, you know, it's a training. And field day is a training. Yep. And there are a lot of public service events and things going on out there that we use as a training platform so that we get to know how to set up your station in adverse conditions, how to work your radios in those conditions. And people sometimes take it on a very simple element. Uh, people like myself and other people... Uh, will take that and have it so that they have a full-blown-out 
emergency communication station. I'm actually building a 14-foot trailer that's going to have two stations. And it's going to have that's, UHF, VHF, and HF. That's so cool. I, I fielded that some so emails cool. yesterday after putting the announcement up on the 9-1 that... I, and I know how it kind of breaks down that you want to kind of be Aries in the county that you live in. But I've had some emails of people and I sent them to 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 uh, um, K1YO and did that, that that would rather that even though they live like eastern New York, they'd rather be connected to Aries out here. I think you had somebody on uh, K one F. I think you had somebody on K one F F K. Yeah, and, and went in and said, and "How do I get a hold of it? How do I get? Can I get into Aries?" And he's in, he's in Aries in Saratoga County, and I, I, you know, my personal thing is. Yeah, he wanted to know if he could do it for Western Mass yeah. and being in Saratoga. Yeah. I, I, I know it's a county thing that you're supposed to be because technically I'm still AEC in Albany County, but I know it's a county thing, but. I think if they want to come out here and join Aries out here and they can get out here because this guy's KD2, QKU, he's like out here every day anyway. I, I, I would say let him. I, I don't have much of an issue with that, you know, because when you figure that, you know, if a person that's in New York and he happens to work in, in Massachusetts, you know, he's spending a good amount of his time in Massachusetts. What's, what's to say that uh, they can't? I mean, if he's in another county and something does happen and he takes and wants to get involved, there's nothing to say that he can't do that. All he has to do is just go through the proper channels. I'm here to help. What can I do? And if we need him, we will certainly utilize him based on his qualifications and experience. And, yeah, and, and you know, in fact, this, this station, we broadcast Eastern New York and K1FFK hits five states and New York being the big one. But, you know, we, I get emails, not all the time, but I get a few emails here and there saying, you know, I, I know Aries is a county thing, but how do I get involved in Western Mass? And I would send those emails on to W1 Triple T. But uh, I, I'm, glad to, I'm glad to hear that if you are in Eastern New York and want to be part of the Western Mass Aries affiliation, get a hold of K1YO yeah. at Comcast.net. And he can uh, put you in that. I think that's, uh, I put that out on K1FFK, and I put that up on my Facebook page, and I put that up on the No Bark Facebook you page. You did. You yes. did. I saw it. And there'll be, there'll be a little tag. I with your post, When yeah. this goes up on YouTube, there'll be a little tagline on that. Okay. Um, that's good. As so much information as you can put out there, right? Yeah. I do these things. I know. Peter. That's why I get up. I know. That's why I get up this early in the morning and, and, and come here and get abused by my cohorts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, what, what else in Aries is uh, going on? What do we need to fill? Um, how do we get ba the big? <coughs> the, the, the big thing is because we don't have a lot of public service events here outside of the Boston Marathon, but we have a ton of. You know, there's uh, the Halloween parade. There's the 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 uh, what you call it, the July Fourth parade. I think we somehow we should get involved like with that because um, there's a the ton. What, of, the what you call yeah, it? Yeah, there's huh? a ton of stuff that at least Pittsfield's doing that I think maybe Aries right. should get involved in. Yeah, and a lot of that. Sometimes we get these public service events on uh, a request from. You know, maybe a police department, an emergency operations center that's looking for assistance. Um, sometimes the, if the uh, ECs or DECs from their district, um, one of the plans is, is that they should be developing relationships to the municipal public safety officials and letting them know that we've got something out there. But we definitely need to have a better showing as an organized structure because if we go in there like a bunch of ragtag you know uh radio people with nine radios hanging off their belt they're gonna sit there and look at you kind of mm. yeah <laughs> what's this guy all about right right uh, we don't want that type of stigma we want them to take and um see us as a professional unit yep that's willing to assist and give them the confidence that we are capable of doing just that so as far as the Aries people, let's see if I, um, I got some notes here from actually a, a presentation at the Hamden Club. 
that Bob gave, and I know he had some uh, where we were looking for as far as openings. Now, obviously, is that a copy of the PowerPoint? Yeah, I this see. certainly is. Let's see. So we're looking for. Um, now he needs to get a little updated on. Um, uh, let's see. Berkshire County. We need to get some updating on that, but we're looking for um, one from Berkshire County. We're looking for okay. a replacement in uh, Hamden County. And what is this again? These are the organization chart for uh, our Aries Right. Group. So what, what in fact, are you looking for? So like you emergency members coordinators. coordinators. What, what, what coordinators. I basically did is okay. I broke out the structure, broke out the counties, so based on how many towns are in these counties, sure. I take and um, I divided it up into two to four sections. Yep. And these uh, sections are going to be the districts. The districts are going to be controlled by a district emergency coordinator. Yes. And they will have emergency coordinators directly under them that will handle a specific area which is usually a group of towns. And I try to keep it down to like 10, maybe 15, 20 towns. Yep. And as Aries grows, then we'll obviously adjust it accordingly. Sure, you'd have to add more people right. or, or split the towns differently or something like that. Right. So, okay. you know, you've got, town, that? you've got towns up here mind? Yep, that, um, you know, obviously the population isn't... Uh, you know, really a lot. There's probably no, no activity whatsoever. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. we'll include them. But yeah, as How far as how could you tell? Yeah, <laughs> it's a little sleepy out I here. I had a drag race with a cow this morning. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. So okay, so I love living out here. Um, are you, are all your ECs filled in and your? No, big we do people? have some openings. Hamden and Hampshire <sighs> County. We still have some uh, opportunities. Um, I think we need to fill in one, possibly two spots in uh, Berkshire. And uh, Worcester County, we do need a couple more. And um, Worcester, she's she's looking at me. I keep trying to get in. <laughs> I just I just need my antennas up. That's all. We're we're I'm, I'm trying to get an antenna raising party for you. Yeah, let's do it. That's also where the technical resource committees come in. That's what I that's what I mean. I'm I'm telling you what it. What a great, uh, what a great thing that you're doing! I think you're filling a, a very deep need here um, yeah. for support. Anyway, I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're doing good. Oh, good. All we're right. Just, we're, we're getting into a raising party. So, how do, uh, like I said, because because we have so much stuff going on in Pittsfield, how can, uh, who do we go to see to see if maybe they can talk to the powers that be? government wise and see if we can't get it because all we really got going here is what the josh billings run the the boston marathon um and and to, and to have a presence we actually got to kind of be out there right so if you do know an event coming up obviously you want to try to get a hold of the event organizer and offer your services and you know tell them that you know we are an amateur radio group that you know we do provide communication support and because there are going to be some events that the police and uh, you know ambulance and fire departments may have limited resource so what you do is you look at um, you know what the what the event is and see how we can fill their need and by doing that you could you know tell them you know we do this as a practice and training drill <laughs> but also to provide communication and safety <laughs> support for those that um, you know do need it um, just to uh, highlight something, the Boston Marathon, the volunteer sign-up ended on February 7th. Mm. We are 110 people short what? of getting that filled up, so they extended it. So if anybody wants to volunteer for the Boston Marathon, yes, it's a ride, but uh, it's something that's well, uh, well worth it. Yeah, but um, I bet that would um, also be fun to connect with the greater ham community. Oh, yes. And, and really see how that works, how people work together, support each other, and uh, for, for a, a big, important event like, this like is, the this Boston is, Marathon, I think, I think that would be just a, a, a lot of fun. This is massive because yes. we have <laughs> one group that operates the start starting line. Sure. There's another group that does the course. Actually, I think there's a couple of groups that does the course. Okay. 
There, uh, yeah, there'd have to myself, be. Myself, right? I basically go in a van and I do a route, and we pick up all the dropouts and get them to the staging area, oh, so that nice. they can grab a bus to get into Boston for the medical checkout. I'll bet they're happy to see you. Sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sometimes they're, they're very, like, I can't run another step. Yeah, sometimes they're very frustrated. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we also have people that cover the Red Cross uh, aid stations. Oh, cool. And we also have the finish line so that we can coordinate the traffic to get the buses to the medical tents and also, you know, the general area right. and all that. And also to make sure that, you know, the runners are accounted for. Because, you know, you don't want a runner laying on the side of the road somewhere and be totally forgotten about. Right. Um, That's true. Yeah. Any, any other little projects or things going around the Western Massachusetts section that we should be know about? I think he's trying to get into the inner works of the sinister mind. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That, that's why they pay me the big bucks to do this show. Yeah. They don't pay you at all. <laughs> the, um, th there are some things going on. The league is uh, obviously very active as far as the, uh, the board meeting. They just uh, released the minutes if you haven't seen them already. I have not. There are some personnel changes and there are some things coming up that uh, you know, will be down the pipe. We are looking for a uh, chief executive officer. As you probably know, Howard Michael uh, was not um, selected to continue on. Oh, and was that a kerfuffle of some kind? In some ways, he a was, uh, the board actually just uh, voted not to uh, renew with his contract. Oh, I see. Okay, it so happens. So they're going to be looking for a CEO. The other thing that kind of went by the wayside that's going to be uh, re-looked and uh, visited and acted on is a um, ARRL emergency services manager. Mm. So um, we had one individual, uh, Mike Corey, yeah. who has uh, left why, some Why time. do you always <laughs> look at me? No, no. These are interesting opportunities, Peter. Okay, I'm sorry. Keep going. That's okay. Yeah, I was hoping for a good joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. We 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 need to crack a few more jokes this morning. I got well, a few I, good ones, but we, I don't know if yeah, the, we're uh, a little light like on jokes today. I, I, I think <laughs> yeah. I've been thrown under the bus enough for one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah really. Under really. the bus. I think. Uh, I you, think you got flung underneath a train this yeah time. You, you know what like, you know your day's not working out well when your section manager throws you under the bus I first know. thing in the morning i know again you were not thrown under the bus you were hurled anyway, under go, the go ahead, continue. <laughs> uh, it's all good fun it is but uh yeah so my Corey had left and uh so we're gonna be um well they are gonna be looking at the um getting a uh, new emergency services planner um, and hopefully that will stabilize Aries a lot better. And um, nice. the other uh, news was that uh, our New England vice director, uh, Mike Reisbeck, K1TWF, he's based out of Chelmsford, Mass. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, he has been elected unanimously to fill the place of first vice president. Nice. So that uh, is a very ah. good individual Ooh. to be placed in the league uh, to represent us. He's been out in the field uh, a lot of years, and I think he can contribute very nicely uh, to the league for our uh, causes and concerns. Great. That's, That's very amazing. exciting then. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to Sounds our. Like a good we're going to go to our break, and then we'll be back to talk to Ray Bunny. More last, coffee. More coffee. <laughs> last minute things going on while we're on the air today. So, you're listening to Ham on and WTBR. Oh yes. What about your new segment, Jeff? Eighty-nine point seven WTBR FM, Pittsfield. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Okay, here's the thing about yellow snow. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing? Learn how to drive, you moron! Remember, you're always teaching. Teach carefully. React with rage, and kids will learn it's okay to do the same. Keep your cool, and kids will do likewise. For advice, visit actagainstviolence.org. Brought to you by MetLife Foundation, National Association for the Education of Young Children, and the Ad Council. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. It's like tiny nails in the air poke my lungs. I start to cough. Sometimes I, my parents have to take me to the hospital. Today, one out of 13 children suffer from some form of asthma. 
accounting for nearly one-third of all emergency room visits. I feel like I'm choking. It's kind of like an elephant is on my chest. A little whistle sound comes out when I breathe. But while your child may suffer from asthma, asthma doesn't have to make your child suffer. There are simple ways you can prevent your child's next attack. To learn more, call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. That's 1-866-662-8822. Log on to www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. I feel like a fish with no water. Brought to you by the EPA, the Ad Council, and this station. WTBR radar weather for the Pittsfield area. Winter weather advisory in effect from 10 p.m. this evening to 7 p.m. EST Thursday. Today, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid-30s. West wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, a chance of snow in the evening. Then snow after midnight. Snow accumulation of 2 to 4 inches. Cold. Near steady temperature around 30. South wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of snow near 100%. Weather forecasts for WTBRFM are provided by the National Weather Service. You must be your fairy godmother. <laughs> yes. It doesn't take a fairy godmother to tell you that the right fit means everything. Good heavens, child. You can't go in back. Children under 4 foot 9 need to be in a booster seat because they aren't ready for adult safety belts alone. Remember that 4 foot 9 is the magic number and get your little pumpkin there safely in a booster seat. Oh, thank you. For more information, visit BoosterSeat.gov. This has been a message from the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. <laughs> This is ridiculous. It's crazy. I feel like I'm babysitting, except I'm not getting paid. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this thing, not join them! Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness! Okay. And we, we, we are back. Uh, I am on a WTBR programming note. February 26th, Riley Hollingsworth will be here to talk, uh, talk about the, the new OO program. What, what uh, does that mean? What's OO for all of actually those it's out amateur there? Amateur auxiliary. Well, no, the, well. Used to be the, the official observer. Yeah, now, yeah, the official <laughs> observer. Now it's like the VM volunteer monitor program. He'll be here to talk about that. We he got that kick started again. Cool. Uh, so he'll be here in the studio or calling, calling uh, in. He'll be calling in. Okay. Oh, cool. March eleventh. Even though he's calling in, very special guest in the studio, WTEN chief meteorologist Steve Caparizzo. Please. We'll be taught. We'll be wow. here. We'll be talking weather, and we'll be talking about pet connection. I love uh, weather. Of course. You can talk to Steve, but I'll talk him about Pet Connection. And March 18th, Bob Heil will be here. I love their microphones. Yay. Yeah, so I got one at the house. And April... Wait, you've got the, Hi the Heil microphone person coming? Well, he's going to yes. call in. He lives in the Midwest. He's going to call in, but he's going to be on the show. Yeah, Is he? March 18th. Yes. Wow, that's Did really... you ever pay attention when I talk about the schedules off not, air? No, not see, really, Peter. I mean, I tune, I tune you out about, you know, 60%. Everybody tunes me out. So I do this. I don't get too down. And yeah. also on top of that, most of the time when you do talk about the schedule, she's trying to drive at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And April 1st, Rhea, I hope I get her name right, Rhea Germain. Germain. No, that's not it. Go ahead. You know how to do it? I don't. I don't. But I the, know it's not Germain. The, 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 the Hudson <laughs> District it's Director Gy for the Gyrum? A She'll, she'll tell us. Yeah. The Hudson <laughs> District Director for the ARRL is coming in from New Jersey. Where'd my clock go? Very cool. Thank my you. impression my of her. I have, no, I have no concept of time now. I have a very good impression of her. You took oh. away your clock. She took away my clock. I don't know what time to get off the air. All you right, so that's 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 a answer, well, I'll have that over here. The answer to the trivia question is... Could, w you, could you read the trivia question again for those of us who have forgotten what the uh, what it is? WSJT <laughs> is a computer program used for weak signal radio communication between amateur radio operators. And he has also won a Nobel Prize in physics. I know mm. that one. Who is this? Ray knows this one. Ray's going to answer. Joe Taylor. 
Joe Taylor. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, oh. Well, they explained the JT. Yeah. J- 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 JT65. WSJT. Nice. nice. So, no, here's your, the JT we're, here, we're, we're here with Ray, and I know we're going to have to put out some pleas, so let's put out a plea, Ray, for Aries with the last five minutes left of the show. Well, the plea I'm thinking about is the Marlboro Flea Market that's coming up this Saturday. Go ahead. Tell us about it. Oh, at, uh... Is that the uh, it's at the school in Marlboro on Union Street, uh, Saturday morning. Marlboro, runs, Mass. Yep, yeah, it runs from uh, about nine in the morning to about one two I think I know which in the one afternoon. You're talking about would it be this one? Algonquin is the name. Yes, uh, twenty five Union Street at the Whitcomb Middle School. So you didn't have to do the announcement. <laughs> He's got it in. So uh, yeah, that's actually you know it's our uh, area rice breaker and a lot of people. Uh, like to come out to that and think warm thoughts and dipoles and antennas and rigs and and yes I uh, will be there and I will be up to my neck in coax and wire. <laughs> that sounds awesome. And that's yes. this Saturday. This coming Saturday. Yep. yep. So so on the on the um, in the wake of Valentine's Day, you could bring a date to the flea market. Why are you looking again? Why are you <laughs> looking at me? I'm just talking to you. I don't I'm know. Just, you're, you're the one that wants to go to so Dayton. Some wires, oh my. <laughs> I do want to go to Dayton. I haven't been there yet. That's I haven't been there yet either. We should I want to go to Dayton. We, I we think should all go to Dayton. I'll get. I know. I don't see why not. It and, and, and it's not like it's that far. We could certainly drive it's there. Ohio. It's yeah. Ohio. Yeah, it's not that Xenia. far. In fact, Xenia, Ohio. It's not that. Not that far. It's like As three days. As they say in Ray's world, it's not like that th- far. It's like three days. <laughs> the one I want to go to is uh, that just passed was Quartz Fest. Quartz Fest? Never talk, heard to of me, that. talk to me about yeah. that. It's a one week long ham slash camping oh, event. Fun. In Quartzsite, Arizona. Stop Ooh. it. I used to live in Arizona. It's in the Bureau of Land Management, and you could park there for two weeks for free. Wow. wow. All right, so wow. last last three minutes, Ray, thanks for being here. KB1LRL, thank you, thank you. section yeah, manager sure. for, for Western Super Massachusetts. Awesome. Like I said, you always got an open invitation to show up here. Of course. Yeah. And if, I'm anybody, really, yeah. if, if anybody needs, you know, to get a hold of me, simply, you know, it's rplajoy at comcast.net, or it's my call sign, KB1LRL at org. And, uh, you know, questions, concerns, if uh, you need resources, you know, I'd be the one to do that. I am visible. So nice. that's one of the big things is that, yep, I'm loud and proud. Nice. That's great. I'm really, I'm really excited about, um, about what you're doing. Yeah, I think that that's looking, a yeah. need that really needs to be looked at. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing along with, you know, the Aries stuff, uh, trying to get that going to so basically cool. try to get Western Mass back on the map again i'm not looking for fame and fortune but i want to be at least recognize that we are another functioning section yeah yes yes that would be that would be great to stand up and be counted all right thanks ray for being here yes we are out of time on on behalf of kc1 liw that's me Susie, and nothing 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 over there (laughs) and of course (laughs) yours truly kd2jkv along with bray k1 kb1 lrl this has been ham on a wtbr fm next week james will be on the phone and one pzp talking about all the happenings that happened at the uh hamcation in florida Hamcation. Yeah, he was there for the, he's there now for what? Hamcation. So we'll say what, uh, what do they do down there? It's a big ham thing like Dayton. It's a potty. It's a big big thing. So seventy three It's a conference from Pittsfield, Mass, and we will talk to you next week. God willing. Huh.